So previously we discussed the yield criteria for the ductile material under plain stress condition and that was the stress car. So <clears throat> this was for the ductile material. So there is another uh, criteria by which we can assess that whether the material is fail or not. That is the <coughs> one mysis criteria. So one mysis is associated with the scientist, uh, the German American applied mathematician Richard von Mises. So <coughs> what this criteria tell us uh, that the structural component is safe as long as the distortion energy per unit volume is less than that occurring in a tensile test specimen A. So recall your previous uh, failure criteria for the Tresca. Uh, we have said that we are going to compare the actual state of the stress with the tensile test specimens. So just in uh, repeating the same thing in uh, one mysis, uh, we are comparing the distortion energy per unit volume with the specimen with that of the tensile test specimen. So we are comparing the actual uh, loading condition with the actual machine component loading with that of the tensile test specimen. So what is the distortion energy of the material? Uh, so that is that energy of the material which is associated with change in the shape of the material. So if the element is under the shear stress, so there will be some deformations, angular deformations, and that result in, uh, results in the a change in the shape of the material. So distortion energy, how it derived and from where it derived is uh, um, a separate thing and we will we'll discuss in the uh, energy uh, chapter when we will go to the, discuss the impact loading. So for instance, keep in mind that the distortion energy per unit volume is equal to 1 over 6 j g 6 sigma a sigma b. These are the principal stress components uh, and g is the shear modulus uh, of any the material which we can get from the torsion test. So this must be less than the uh, 1 over 6 g sigma y uh, yield stress minus sigma y into 0 because there is no another stress component uh, in the y phase um, we have discussed in the uh, Mohr circle. Uh, I will this was the case for the uni axial condition and anyway, there was only one loading condition and there is no stress on the other phase. So only sigma x which is the principal stress. So this is actually the principal stress and the yield will be the, uh, the yield point will be uh, also associated uh, as the principal stress. So there is no normal stress in the other direction, only in one direction we have the principal stresses, this is the sigma y and this results in this uh, statement. If we know the uh, sigma a and sigma b for any loading condition, um, we can just put values of sigma a and sigma b in this statement and we can find out that whether for that particular material this is less than the yield point for that material or not. Uh, so we can decide that whether material will fail for that particular loading condition or not. So this is the uh, equation of uh, ellipse basically and uh, having sigma a on the x-axis, sigma b on the y-axis for different value of stresses, this ellipse can be far, and this can be drawn, having the major axis, and this is the minor axis. If we superimpose the Tresca uh, 
criteria and this one mysis and this is the hexagon Presca hexagon so it will reveal that there are some points on which the one mysis traces criteria and the Tresca criteria uh, give uh, exactly the same results on this point they have the same fading criteria for the uh, material there are some other points on which uh, the criteria gives different results just like this this is some gap exists between the ellipse and the hexagon so it means that the Tresca criteria is more conservative criteria um, conservative means that it is more safe uh, having higher uh, margin of safety so but one mice is uh, stress criteria that are different for some uh, point just like the torsion cases if we if we have the uh, two stresses <coughs> sigma a and sigma b one is positive and the other is uh, negative so for same material it will give the 0 0.5 sigma y and it will be give the for one mysis criteria it will give 0 0.577 sigma y so practical experiments uh, for different materials um, they yield this conclusion that one mysis criteria is more accurate as compared to the uh, Tresca criteria however uh, this is on the designer uh, concerned that whether he choose a Tresca criteria or one mysis but mostly one mysis criteria are used so any point which lies in this ellipse that will be considered as a safe state of the stress and any other any point which go beyond this ellipse so that will be considered as the uh, failure state of the stress so just uh, I have mentioned in the previous slide that uh, we have to plot sigma a and sigma b and uh, this is the mathematical expression if you want to find out this is the graphical method by which we can uh, find out the, whether the current state of the stress uh, the material is failed or not <coughs> so this is the one mysis criteria for the reptile material under pain stress conditions so we will move on uh, for the brittle material criteria so for this moment uh, thanks for watching this video and meet you in the next uh, class